choking, dude. What? Please. Please. This is why Warlock can't be good. Because this stupid spell... Ah, the stupid skill. Do you enjoy frustrating your opponents? Are you a big fan of one-shot mechanics? Do you feel that opponents should be punished just for daring to touch you? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this build may be for you. Enter the One-Shot Warlock. This build abuses the fact that Dark Reflection and Blow of Corruption scale extremely well when using the Magic Staff. But before I explain how it works, let me show you what this build can do. Good fight, good fight. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. He's dead. I eat it. Where's his friend at? Axe out? That's not good. Fight this guy. He thinks we won't. Look at that. Look at that. Folded. Double barb. Absolutely folded. You might go to Valhalla, but with the strats I'm using, I got no shot, dude. I mean, I've, I've seen how good Dark Reflection can be. Give me a punch. Give me a punch. I'm terrified, but all right. I'll punch you. I'll punch your toe. Oh, about look, at, look at that, dude. Oh, How much was 30 that? Damage. 30. It's a, I mean, it's hard to use, right? You've got to get hit. It's, uh, it's pretty skill-based. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Is that oh. double ranger? It's a ranger and a rogue. And they almost got me. Oh, and if I almost, I mean, I am dead. That's crazy. Rogue dead. Nice. You can pull back if you want. Nope. Dodge. Get him up. Oh, Hell yeah. 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 The true count at the range. Double melee. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Oh, nice. oh, there's a Wizzy here. Oh, and a Warlock. And a Warlock. He invades him. He invades himself. Oh, he's coming for me, brother. He's also got the staff build. He whiffed. He knows how dangerous it is. Hit him in the head. He's dead. My god, his dark reflection did most of my health. Oh, I got scared. I popped Is he it. dead? Nice. That's fine. I have a okay. camp. Whew. Oh, Copper yeah. Copper ore, gold ore. Look at how much he's got the ore on him. He's got a million meds, two campies. This guy's been farming. The wisps are up. Unbelievable. The annoying thing is, they steal my dark reflection stacks. Okay, he just killed one. Was he underneath or where? He's he's right here. He's trying to bow me right now. Oh, okay. Using the wisp as cover. Tag me. Tagged him. He's one shot. He's second winded. He's dead. Nice. Wisp's all up. Metting up. Tagged him. He's gonna cross you. Are they coming? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, dude, I can't miss these. He's dead. Is he, what, what is he doing? Oh, he's got a scaly on him? Nice. So. How does this build work? How are we able to dish out such huge amounts of damage? So the core of this build really are these two abilities, Dark Reflection, which is a perk, and a Blow of Corruption, which is an active ability. So Dark Reflection reflects 10 magic damage to your attacker. 
and Blow of Corruption deals 15 magic damage to the target when you hit them with a melee attack. It also reduces healing and stuff, but mainly we care about the additional magic damage. So both of these abilities benefit from the damage on a magical weapon, so a magic staff. So this goes from dealing 10 magic damage to dealing 17. This goes from dealing 15 to 22. Now, these both also benefit from magic power bonus. So you see as a warlock, we have 24 at base kit. However, Dark Reflection also benefits from Soul Collector, which gives you a 60% dark magic damage bonus uh, at full stacks, as well as Dark Enhancement, which gives you an additional 10. So basically your magic power bonus goes from 24 to 94. So it almost doubles the damage of Dark Reflection. So you go from 10 magic damage to 17 with the staff to about 34 um, with these two perks. Blow of Corruption, on the other hand, is not dark magic, so it doesn't benefit from these two. However, it does still benefit from your magic power bonus and it benefits from headshot multiplier. So it goes from dealing uh, 15 damage to 22 with the staff to then roughly like 40 to 45 uh, with headshot and magic power bonus. So that's not even counting the physical damage of the staff as well. You're gonna end up doing like 90-ish damage with a headshot if you land the Blow of Corruption. So if they decide to hit you, they take 34 damage, and then you hit them in the head with the staff, they take 90 additional damage. Almost every single class is gonna get one-shotted by this. Obviously, things are gonna change once people get gear, because they'll have more magic resist and more vigor and stuff. But at the very least, that base kit, this is gonna one-shot almost anything. For the rest of the build, it's kind of up to you, these two slots. I like running anti-magic because the only other perk that would really help you is Malice, and while this will give you more magic power for more one-shotting, uh, it's only like 6% damage, and you already have such a huge bonus with these two to Dark Reflection that I don't think it's worth giving up 25 magic damage reduction. That's like a huge amount. Um, you could also run Spell Memory, so you could cast spells, or you can run Phantomize to gap close on like Rangers and stuff. Personally, I like the spell memory because you have a lot of nice stuff like Curse of Pain, Life Drain. Um, I've run Flame Walker with this too. Flame Walker kind of tricks people into thinking you don't want to be pressed until they try to close the distance and then you end up bonking them, so it's pretty good. Uh, Bolt of Darkness. Oh, by the way, there's like a weird interaction where Dark Reflection benefits from Soul Collector. Normally, if you use a dark magic ability, the stacks go away and you have to stack them up again by killing mobs. But for whatever reason, Dark Reflection doesn't consume the stacks, but it does benefit from the damage. So Bolt of Darkness will benefit from this too, but it will consume your stacks. You have to stack it back up again. So I use this very sparingly. Only really use it if I can guarantee a kill, but it will do a huge amount of damage if you were able to hit somebody with it. So, you know, use wisely. But yeah, so this is like the caster setup I like. Um, but again, if you want to, you can use Phantomize and like Gap Close and just like ghost in and then bonk somebody for a one shot. And that's pretty cool too. Uh, but that's basically the build. Is this viable for high roller? Yes, but you're going to be mostly playing a caster play style instead of just like a run and bonk play style. I mean, you could do this, but it's sort of high risk. And honestly, what I've, what I've noticed in, in high roller GC, is people kind of just sit back with their bows and shoot you from range and you're gonna have a tough time uh getting through that oh i guess i could comment on whether or not this is good in trios too it's okay the thing is you you can maybe like one shot somebody but if you either don't one shot them or you do one shot them and then there's a bunch of other enemies around you kind of don't do any damage for a couple seconds once this procs and then you use blow of corruption so you like Basically just bonk somebody and run away, or you sit there casting and then if they try to press you, you try to bonk the frontliner. And it's pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's meta or anything. Uh, it's mostly just a for fun build. I have tried it in High Roller Goblin Caves though, and it honestly wasn't bad. You could probably run like a white magic staff and kill some people who have a lot of gear just because you can kind of just bullshit them with this and a one shot and blow corruption but swinging with the staff is really really bad if the staff was like easier to use 
I would say this is a lot more viable, but unfortunately, the biggest drawback of the build is that you have to swing with a staff. I probably have some clips that I can show of me just like completely whiffing versus people that I should have been killing if uh, I wasn't using such a bad weapon. Come on, baby. Come on, I need to hit here. this once. I need to hit him once. And he's dead. And I missed. I missed three times. I hate the staff. I whipped all my shots. Wow, dude. Swung three times to hit air. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up, guys. If you like this uh, this little build guide, you know what to do. Leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below about your thoughts. And if you think this should be nerfed, because <laughs> I definitely think it's the most frustrating build to play against. Nobody likes getting one shot. It sucked when Rangers were doing it. Um, but yeah, maybe abuse this so Iron Mace ends up tuning it down, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. It's a, I mean, it's hard to use, right? You've got to get hit. It's, uh, it's pretty skill-based. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Balance, balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rogue? someone getting rogue? Yeah, I'm coming. I mean, you're just going to cut he, him in He half. made the mistake of hitting me. Yeah, nice. see? When will they learn?